a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Glory to Lord of Paul and the apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader and the listeners, upon this parish and her children forever. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion as do the Gentiles who do not know God, not to take advantage of or exploit a brother in this matter. For the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirm. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this, disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. On this subject of mutual charity, you have no need for anyone to write you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Indeed, you do this for all the brothers throughout Macedonia, Nevertheless, we urge you, brothers, to progress even more and to aspire to live a tranquil life, to mind your own affairs and to work with your own hands, as we instructed you that you may conduct yourselves properly toward outsiders and not depend on anyone. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, According to St. John, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. The Apostle John writes, The next day the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had only been one boat there, and that Jesus has not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread. When the Lord gave thanks, when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. This is the truth. Peace be with you. We hear in the gospel today that we should not work for food that perishes, but rather for that which endures. How many of us busy ourselves with passing things, busy ourselves with keeping up with the gossip, of the day, with following the sports of the day, with trying to know this and that passing thing. Others from among us might be seeking the pleasures of this world, or we might be seeking uh, money, wealth, prosperity, yet all of these things pass. There have been several very large tombs throughout history. There is the Taj Mahal 
in India, and there are the pyramids in Egypt, but even these great monuments trying to hold on to something that was passing, even them we know very little about who is buried within. Many of us probably cannot even name them. Maybe we are able to name the great generals of history. Maybe we are able to name the great political figures, the great athletes, the great champions. And yet, and yet, although their memory remains, their achievements are passing away. But if we are able to focus not on the world, but on the next world, if we are able to measure people not by what they can do for us, but by the fact that they are made in the image of God, then we can deal with what endures. We can deal not with the passing world, but with eternity. This is what we are called to do, to not be concerned with this passing world, to be Christians not only on Sunday, not only one hour a day, but with everything that we have, all of our time, all of our resources, that all of it we use toward what endures, all of it we aim toward Christ.